Hi there. Thank you so much for having me today. My name is Natalie and I'm the Community Engagement Manager at Peace Trees Vietnam. I'm really sorry I couldn't join you in person or live over Zoom, but I'm actually in Vietnam at the moment. And so it's probably like 2 a.m. my time. Um, and I thought I'd maybe deliver a better presentation if I pre-recorded. So thanks for having me. We're really excited to be part of the program this year and really look forward to hearing and seeing all of the creative communications ideas that uh, you bring and look forward to strategizing with you to have a really successful year. So thanks again for having me. And I'm really excited today just to share a little bit more about Peace Trees Vietnam with you. So our mission is to address the legacy of war by removing dangerous explosives, returning land to safe use, promoting peace and cultivating a brighter future for children and families in Vietnam. Our vision is a Vietnam completely cleared of dangerous explosive ordinance and communities fully supported in their goals for safety, education, and economic success. So I'll take you back uh, to our founding story. So Peace Trees was founded in 1995 by longtime Bainbridge Island resident, Gerilyn Brousseau and her late husband, Dannon Perry. Gerilyn's brother, US Army helicopter pilot, Lieutenant Daniel Cheney, who's pictured here, was shot down and killed during his first two weeks in Vietnam, saving the life of his fellow pilot. Upon learning about her brother's death, Gerilyn thought about the grief that her parents must be feeling. And then she thought about the grief that all parents must be feeling in the US and Vietnam on both sides of the war. After this profound loss, Gerilyn vowed to find a way to build bridges of trust and understanding between American and Vietnamese people. That day came in uh, 1996, shortly after the US and Vietnam normalized diplomatic relations. Gerilyn took the first group of citizen diplomats to Vietnam, many of whom were veterans of the war. When they were there, they met with local authorities and completed the first US-sponsored mine clearance project, and afterwards planted trees with Vietnamese veterans on safely cleared land. Since that day, we have been working in central Vietnam to clear land of dangerous explosive ordnance, and our work really has continued to evolve, and that's what I'm excited to dive a little deeper into today. Peace Trees works in the central part of the country, um, so in Quang Tri and Quang Binh provinces. These provinces were both heavily bombed during wartime, and Quang Tri is where the demilitarized zone ran through. So the map here is actually uh, U.S. bombing data, so you can see in that circled area where Quang Tri is, where the color red is the darkest and deepest, uh, that's where we're working. And Quang Tri province is about the size of King County. And in that province alone, over one and a half times the amount of explosives were dropped than in all of Europe during World War II. So it's a, a really hard problem to comprehend. And up to 30% of those explosives didn't actually explode on impact. So even almost 50 years past, we're still, um, you know, dealing with injuries and accidents related to unexploded bombs and mines. Here's just a zoomed in map of Quang Tri and uh, the little red like icon buildings are actually Peace Trees uh, projects. And so those are things like kindergartens and libraries. And um, I'll share a little bit more about those later. So now that you have an idea of where we work and why, I'd like to highlight a bit more about our sort of three main program areas. So citizen diplomacy and building people to people ties is at the heart of our work, as you learned when I shared a little bit about our founding story. Um, to date, we have hosted over a thousand citizen diplomats, including Vietnam veterans, Gold Star family members, students, uh, and other travelers who have been eager to participate in our work in central Vietnam. Uh, citizen diplomacy continues to contribute to the friendship shared between the U.S. and Vietnam today. Our Mine Action Program has trained and equipped 150 explosive ordnance disposal technicians who work every day to clear land of explosive ordnance. They also provide risk education and assist individuals and families who have been impacted by an explosive ordnance accident. Peace Trees works in partnership with provincial authorities and local communities to clear land for socioeconomic development priorities and to respond to emergency clearance tasks. Once land is safe, Peace Tree supports community-led education and economic development projects that help address generational poverty rooted in the aftermath of war. 
Um, Peace Trees pursues projects at the request of community members and their representative organizations, such as the Women's Union in Guangxi Province. In order to ensure that these projects provide tangible and sustainable benefits, we prioritize community participation in project selection, uh, project design, and evaluation. So I'd love to look ahead to the next phase of our work. Um, I'll let you read these priorities that were outlined in our most recent strategic plan. And in addition to these priorities, with the support of partners and friends, we um, have a couple of other things kind of on the horizon. So over the next three years, we will pursue increased and diversified funding in order to return more land to safe and productive use. We'll center the needs and capabilities of individuals we work with to support more community-led development initiatives and we'll prioritize creating inclusive opportunities for reconciliation, peace building, and friendship between all people impacted by the US and Vietnam War and its lasting legacies. So I'll dive in a little deeper to each of those program areas now. So um, our citizen diplomacy uh, program is, uh, we take guided trips through Vietnam with folks from uh, the US and all over, and we bring them to see our work in person. Our trips provide an opportunity for unique engagement and have the ability to create a really positive impact in people's lives. Often veterans, students, or Gold Star family members will travel with Peace Trees, in addition to people who just are curious and want to know more about what life looks like in Vietnam today. Uh, we also, um, yeah, like I mentioned, have students go. So we have a program at the University of Washington, a, a shorter study abroad program at the University of Washington. And who knows, maybe after this experience, we'll have a group from um, this class join us in Vietnam. Our work in Vietnam is led by our in-country team. Uh, here in the U.S., we only have four people on staff working in office, and we really exist to support the programmatic goals of our Vietnam staff. So our mine action program has trained over 150 EOD technicians, all of whom are Vietnamese nationals, uh, many who have grown up in both of those provinces we're working in. And these are the folks that work every day to clear land and build safer communities. To date, our teams have cleared 4,832 acres of land and have removed over 136,814 items of explosive ordnance. After land is made safe, uh, we know a lot of work remains. So like I said, we support community-led development projects that address generational poverty. Uh, these projects include building kindergartens, libraries, um, and at the kindergartens, there's important uh, kind of primary age uh, lessons taught and every kiddo receives a nutritious meal. We also support students uh, through scholarships and have other economic development projects like goat husbandry, um, banana plants, and more. Peace Trees is committed to using our resources to minimize the negative environmental impacts of our work, protecting the environment, and supporting partner communities as they adapt to the changing climate. Increasingly, our programs will address the intersection of war legacy and the environment. So here you can see some photos. Um, these are from 2020 and the floods that devastated so much of central Vietnam. And uh, since then, we launched a flood relief program and it funded a few programs to support communities most impacted by these storms, which included uh, three resettlement projects. So resettling three separate communities uh, in um, safer land, goat husbandry. And we just learned that the first generation of goats has been born from this project. And so we received um, a lot of photos of adorable baby goats. And um, we supplied training and supplies for building or planting and um, creating banana farms for impacted communities as well. So a variety of programs, which is really, really great. So the numbers, um, I know I already mentioned a bit about our clearance statistics, but uh, we've also been able to deliver explosive ordinance uh, risk education to 175,148 people. And so that's showing people what to look out for if they find a suspected piece of ordinance. Um, just this past year in Quang Tri, we unfortunately had um, two accidents and uh, those were the first two accidents since 2017. And uh, it just really highlights the importance of risk education and uh, making sure that communities know exactly what to do if they find a suspected bomber mine. And 5,740 uh, students have attended a Peace Trees kindergarten. And we have built 22 schools, 12 libraries, two community centers and 100 family, phone, uh, family uh, homes. 
So thank you again so much for having me. Um, I was going to play a video, but was worried about my time. But if there is time for that, um, I have sent that ahead of time. And hopefully you can learn a little bit more about our work uh, through the video. And like I said, really looking forward to working with you and getting creative with you. And thanks again so much for having me today. Bye-bye.